The Boopa Great Manchester Run is an annual fundraising event where participants gather sponsors to run six miles across the city. The money raised goes towards a charity of their choice. We met with Destination Florida at this year's event. Today we've got 70 runners and um, 65 of those are registered as our team and another, another five have been registered independently. But they're all raising money for the charity. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll raise about £10,000 today with all the support that we've got, so, which is fantastic really. So it's a great day. We've had a lot of build up and a lot of excitement. And some people have run previously for the charity in the 10K. We've got quite a few new runners this year. Destination Florida is all about trying to take the very poor children out of Florida every two years, uh, given the uh, lifetime. So we're part of a group of doctors, nurses and non-medical helpers that um, take the kids away and have a great time. I think a run like this, it gives everyone the chance of having a bit of fun and also raising money at the same time. It's just a good routine day, it's a, a fantastic experience and um, I think that's why there are over 35 runners, 35,000 runners, because everybody just enjoys the day. And it's the first 10k I've ever done, the first charity run, so I do well today, I'll have to do a few more later. Great atmosphere in Manchester, it's a great city to be running in every way, so we're really excited about it. When we just get in the America, when we're just holding it all together. One of the runners this year is Matthew Ainsworth, who is a volunteer for Destination Florida. We asked him a few questions about how he's feeling about today's race. He said they need more sort of male helpers, so decided well, let's get involved and help out really. I'm a little bit nervous. No, I'm not, I'm alive, but I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm ready for it, pumped. Mm -hmm. First Manchester run I've done, but I've done race for life in the past about three times. So this is the biggest one that I've ever done. It's about 25 years since I last ran anywhere. So I've been training. I've taken up the Trooper eight, eight weeks challenge, and uh, I'll be uh, looking to do about an hour and ten today. If I can beat an hour and ten, I'll be really happy. I'm feeling really good about the race. It's a good course. Not many people race for that, I think, and all that. I'm glad you do it for the Well, as a company, we've raised about £8,000, so it's not a bad effort, I think, really. So, uh, we'll all be going to, to, to good cause for good kids and uh, making sure they're kept well and safe, really. It's about it. Just keep that the whole thing in, mate. I'm so ready for this. I'm all psyched up and ready to go. I'm going to fly around. So half, half an hour stretches now, and then I'll be ready to go. Target 
goal was to do under an hour, and I did one hour and one second. <laughs> next year. <laughs> well, I want to uh, want to do a bit better next year. I'm happy with my time, 41. Well, I think we did it in about 108. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> first, it's the first time I've done it, so I'm pleased with that. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough on the way to Old Trafford because some, some of it was slightly uphill. I think that was the most challenging part, running around Old Trafford past um, the stadium. Um, for me, that was the hardest bit. Up until about 8.5, I, I almost stopped. But um, I saw my dad in the crowd and he spurred me on and I had a jelly baby that kept me going. <laughs> of course, was uh, you go towards Old Trafford, a massive hill, which is quite fast. And then you go around Salford. I was that focused, I don't actually know where I went. I just had my head down. You go, you go back round Salford, and, uh, through past the Lowry, and you come back up towards Deansgate and finish just there. 